early morning on the shores of the Bay of Bengal in southern India. These fishermen have some fierce neighbors. Set back from the beach under the trees is an extraordinary refuge, the Madras Crocodile Bank. I think that's what, uh, maybe I'll do that before the morning. Yeah, and jaws we have to do. But I kind of worry about it because there's such a little space you can only sort of... Father and son team Ram and Nikhil Whittaker are out troubleshooting. It's the dry season. And as usual, there are lots of problems to solve. It's about as low as I've seen it, you know, yeah. for this part time of March, and I think dredging's got to start now. Yeah. Crockbank is the biggest sanctuary of its kind in India. Spread over eight acres, it houses over 3,000 crocodiles. Its 25 pens are packed with crocs of all ages. Shall I do the honors? Yeah, why don't you grab one? Young crocodiles are kept apart in the nursery. How big are they, anyway? Yeah, about about a meter almost. Yeah. They need hands-on attention, even if it's not appreciated. Males ready for some... Crocodiles aren't everyone's favorite animal, but Rom has always been strangely drawn to them. I'm not sure how it started, but it started very young that I was collecting snakes and little lizards and stuff and almost grew with me. And it's just an endless fascination, which is kind of hard to explain. Rom was born in New York, but grew up in India. In the late 60s, he decided to return there to study reptiles. His exploits have made him a legendary figure. Well, I was raised in southern India, so it was perfectly natural f for me, as far as I'm concerned, to settle here. And uh, it has all the elements that I love. The warm weather, and plenty of reptiles, good people, good hot food. At that time, all three species of Indian crocodile were close to extinction. In the early 1970s, I carried out some of the first surveys of crocodiles in India, in the few wild habitats that were left, and things looked much more serious than was believed. I mean, um, we were down to probably 200 or less gharial, the long-snouted fish-eating crocodile. We were down to just a few hundred saltwater crocodiles, and the mugger, which was still the most prevalent animal, was probably down to about a couple of thousand animals in the entire subcontinent. Rom was determined not to let the crocodiles disappear. He decided to set up a sanctuary and try to get them to breed. His efforts paid off immediately. Starting out with only 12 crocodiles, he now has over 3,000 hungry mouths to feed. 